Stoudemire drives, slashes to the basket, but cannot put it in. Here's Webb at the other end. He's got to save the ball. Get it to straight. Straight puts it up off the back of the heel. Up and down it goes. And guess what? It's a two-point basketball game with two minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the half. The Cowboys on a 6-0 run. Jesus. Verdejo. Caliente. Off the dribble and falling to the ground. Yeah, that's the fall away fall down and Jesus converts. That was our his first points of the night off the bench for Arizona. So the freshman point guard from Puerto Rico. Hits for Arizona. But the Cowboys with some big breaks. And Derek Wabington back within four of the Cats. Little under two and a half left in the half. Four points between the two teams at McHale Center. Tonight, get ready for the next great thing in sports entertainment as Max Kellerman comes to FSN. Tonight, Max discusses what's wrong with the Rams. And will the Mets, not the Yankees, sign Pedro? We'll find out tonight at 1030 only on FSN Arizona. See you, Max. Hope he gets home safe. Cats and the Wyoming Yo-Yos. They go down by eight, come right back within four or two. Up and down, up and down. They go. You know one of the, the uh, reasons for that, Bob? They started the night. You talked about the fact that they had a very good warm-up. They missed their first five shots, then made three in a row, and now they're shooting better than the Wildcats. They're shooting 46% while the Wildcats are shooting just 41. Sound familiar? They had that first TV timeout, 15-38 on the clock. The score was 9-2, seven-point lead for Arizona. Now it's down to four. This will be a confidence booster for Wyoming if they can stay around the same range and go in there at halftime. Tangara in the ball game for Arizona as well, so a really different look for the Wildcats. Clellan popped it, was blocked. Rodgers with a uh, interruption, not exactly a steal. The Cowboys maintain possession. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Chris Rogers deflects the pass. Give it up, give it up. To McClellan, who gently lays it in for two. Nice decision by the freshman, Jawan McClellan. Just did what he had to do. No big show. 38-32, Arizona by six. That's what I meant about him playing within himself. It's like, okay, most kids try for the dunk. How many times have you seen somebody go for the dunk and think they get a quarter of a point, the style points, and they don't get the bucket? He realized he wasn't high enough. He just laid it in. Cowboys done with the jumper right over Fox, but however, there is a foul. Chris Rogers, the sticky finger sixth man. Watch, Sleem goes for the steal. He jumps on his man, but notice how he stays in the passing lane, gets a hand on it. Now watch Juwan, catch it. He's gonna go for the dunk. Oh, I'm not quite high enough. He try to force it. No, just lay it up and in. One for one from the field, two points, nice and steady. Well, the dispute between the referees, they called a foul on Wyoming, and the Wildcats are in the bonus, but now I think they're going to reverse themselves and put the Wildcats at the line because they've been in the bonus for a while. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So, to bring you up to speed, Chris Anderson, you saw him number 34 with the foul. That's Steve McClain. Still questioning the uh, call. And Jawan McClellan now stands at the free throw line. Clay's still not done with this conversation. He is by far the most animated person in the building right now. And now the referees are going to confer some more. Well, there's two of them. You know, at least bring the third guy in. Yep. <laughs> the third <laughs> official's on the basket with the ball like, hey, you know, hey, this is y'all's problem. Y'all yeah. didn't know what you're doing. Something right out of the 60s. I don't want to get involved. <laughs> you two guys. I just don't want to get involved. To now they got to try to figure it out. It's not something that you go to the replay. Oh, I guess they are. I think they're trying to determine on whom the foul has been called. It will be when uh, adjudicated the 11th foul for Wyoming. All right. They're seeing, the referees are seeing what we're seeing. Okay. Keep your eye on it. Middle of the screen. 34 goes up to the high post. He's going to, Dunn's going to turn. 
Shoot the J. Come on, dude. All right. And he jumps in the back of McClellan. Gotcha. 34th to foul. Five goes to the line, just like they had the first time. Why don't they allow our producer and director to call the games? Because they get it right most all the time. You know, McClellan's probably like, hey, <laughs> you want to lift my shirt up and see the bruise? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you who he hit. All right, so McClellan now will go to the free throw line, and it is very quiet. It's almost a golf tournament in here tonight. You, it's man. eerie quiet. Too much turkey, Hoss. Yep. Too much turkey. Going into the game, Juwan, 75%, 6 for 8 from the line. Now he's 7 for 9 on his career. So quiet. So McClellan now is being cut in. 40, 34, six points that separate the teams. A minute, nine seconds remain. Webb, Wyoming twice tonight has broken Arizona's full court press. Look at Chris Rogers. Get him, Chris. Mess with him, Chris. Cat like quickness. Rogers back on straight. You leave him open for just a split second. You know, that's where a scouting report goes bad. Hey, 0 for 10, make him shoot it. Okay, 4 for 4 in the first half. And three point Jay, yeah. scr scratch that idea. He's got 16 points now, Jay Straight. McClellan cuts to the basket, rolls oh. it up and in. That was a beautiful shot. You talking about, oh, he, oh he's going to get the crowd going. Joan's working the crowd now. But what he does, watch the body control, draw the foul. Hang, double pump to get the ball away from the defender and get it back up in there. Watch this, double pump, hang, and get up on the glass, and then come out and start waving to the crowd. Come, come on up now. Get on up. <laughs> well, you know, he came, like you said, as a freshman in New York playing for the first time, he had 11 points, six rebounds back in the Big Apple. So we know he's no shrinking violent. No, no, the young man has produced all season long, and that's why Luke's got to give him some minutes. You know, it's one thing to set up your team with he's your best point guard and off guard, and, and, and one and the guy come off the bench. But you've got to also keep a list of all 15 of your players from who's the most critical to have, who's the least critical. And I think what happens is when Arizona does that, Juwan McClellan pops up a lot higher on the list, which means you got to get that guy some minutes. He's going to rebound for you like he did just there. He's going to score at the other end like he did earlier. He just produces. Rogers, Stoudemire puts it up, and that will count. Cats uh, finish in a flurry, but they go to the locker room with an eight-point lead, 45-37. One Couple. more look at Salim. Right place, right time, right shot selection, counting. All right, standing by right now with Coach Little Olson, our Todd Wolf. Gentlemen. All right, thank you very much, uh, Coach. You said Wyoming was going to be a challenge, and so far that's exactly what you got. Yeah, they've, uh, well, the guy that's been killing us is straight, uh, who's supposed to be a driver, not a perimeter shooter, and I think he's, I think he's hit probably four threes, and, and we've had actually pretty good pressure on those threes. So uh, we've done a good job of taking away the things we wanted to take away. We did not want their two shooters get a lot of looks and and they really haven't uh, but straights killing us and then we've made some mistakes on the backside on the help to the uh, to the post guy and that's a that's a wing guy that's that's not in the lane where he should be but we'll get that straightened out at halftime I think you're shooting 43 percent are you getting the shot selection that you want yeah other than there were a couple that were taken that were not good uh, you know Salim's a great shooter but if you take a bad shot like he did then you're not going to be a great shooter if if he gets open shots I mean, he's going to have a chance at making every one of those. He not, you know, you're not going to make all of them, but you've got to make sure that they're all good ones. Uh, but I think overall, we've moved the ball, moved the ball well. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Lou Dolson, head coach of the Arizona Wildcats, with his chart in hand. He'll read that and go talk to his team in a matter of moments. We'll send it back to Dave Sitt. Thank you very much, Todd. Great halftime coming your way, including Todd's visit with Jim Limegut, a pretty happy guy these days. The Wildcats ebbs and flows with the Wyoming Cowboys in the first half. <laughs> so did Lou Dolson. We'll be right back to the Kale Center to begin our halftime activities following this breakout from three-point land. But also, you know what? I said, what's the what's the vibe in the locker room? He said, it's this. It's good. Hey, we got a chance. You know what? They're right. Todd, that's what it's about. If you let a team come into your place 